Welcome back. Problem 4-36. So in this problem, the statement is determine the support reaction at rigid supports A and C. The material has modulus of elasticity E. So you can see there are two step rods that are connected at point B and this C and A points are rigid support means it does not allow the any translation translatory motion and there is a point load at point b so you have to find the reaction force offered by this rigid support at c and a so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this support so definitely there will be a reaction force in opposite to this p which is represented as fc and if you remove this support at a so you will be having a reaction force which is equal to fa now you can find this fc and fa by using equation of equilibrium so first equation which will apply is sum of all force along x direction is zero and force in this direction is positive so p is in positive x direction it will be positive minus fa which is in negative direction and minus fc which is also in negative direction is their sum must be equal to zero so let this is your equation number one now what we will do that you can see that uh, these are the rigid supports so there will be no translatory or elongate mo elongation motion so the change in length will be equal to zero so what we will do is that we will use compatibility equations i will write it first compatibility equation and we will use we use method of superposition to solve this problem so what is method of superposition so what we will do is that this is the initial case and if first what we will ignore this point c and we will just apply a point p and then in second condition we will ignore this and we will apply this fc so let me show you it will be like this if i draw if i take a vertical line from end of this end point c clear so this was your initial case and what if i draw it is equal to some it will be equal to this case will be equal to if i draw it like this is the first rod okay so assume there is a first rod and that is the second rod and there will be a load of point at this point which is represented as p and this is the support at point a so if we ignore the this uh, in in first case we will ignore this and support c and we will apply this force p which will cause the elongation in this length of 2a and this elongation is equal to del p this elongation is equal to del p and plus if we discuss the second scenario so second scenario will be like this this end will be again this will be fixed and now this this is the joint and this is the small uh, rod which is of length a and now here what we will do is that we will ignore this p and we will apply fc which will cause a compression in the length so this is this length is equal to del c but the sum of this plus this will give you this condition and now due to 
बोथ एंड्स आर बोथ एंड्स आर रिजिड सो वी राइट दैट दिस चेंज इन लेंथ इज इक्वल टू डेल पी माइनस डेल सी क्लियर एंड दिस चेंज इज लेंथ इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज द एंड्स आर रिजिड सपोर्ट नाउ वट विल बी द चेंज इन लेंथ ऑफ डेल पी ड्यू टू दिस पी लोड सो दिस लेंथ इज टू ए वी नो दैट चेंज इन लेंथ इज इक्वल टू जनरल वी नो दैट चेंज इन लेंथ इज इक्वल टू एफ इन टू लेंथ डिवाइड बाई ए इन टू ई क्लियर सो ड्यू टू दिस पी लोड द ओनली चेंज विल बी इन दिस लेंथ टू ए सो आई विल राइट पी इन टू टू ए डिवाइड बाई एरिया ऑफ दिस पाइप आर शॉफ्ट इज पाई बाई फोर डी स्क्वेयर इन टू इट्स ई माइनस नाउ चेंज इन लेंथ इन सी ड्यू टू दिस एफ सी विल बी चेंज इन लेंथ ऑफ दिस ए लेंथ एज वेल एज देर इज अ कंप्रेशन इन लेंथ ऑफ टू ए सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू एफ सी फर्स्ट इन दिस पोर्शन एफ सी इन टू ए डिवाइड बाय वट इज डाईमीटर सो डाईमीटर इज थ्री बाय फोर सो थ्री बाय फोर d square pi by 4 into pi by 4 into d square okay let me correct it this will be equal to pi by 4 area is pi by 4 into d square and d is 3 by 4 d whole square clear into e plus चेंज इन लेंथ ऑफ दिस टू ए लेंथ सो एफ सी इन टू टू ए डिवाइड बाई पाई बाई फोर नाउ दिस हैविंग डायमीटर डी यू कैन सी इट डी पाई बाई फोर डी स्क्वेयर इन टू ई ओके so when you solve this you will get again you have to do certain steps so when you solve it you will get fc will be equal to 9 by 17 p so this will be your equation number 2 now put two in equation number 1 put two in equation 1 so equation 1 is this one so p minus f a minus 9 by 17 p is equal to 0 so it means that f a is equal to p minus 9 by 17 p so you can take the lcm it will be 17 so it will be 17 p minus 9 p so f a will be equal to 17 minus 9 will be equal to 8 so 8 by 17 times p so these are the reaction forces at rigid point uh, rigid support c and a and this was all about this problem 4-36 i hope you have enjoyed this video and those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching